Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. You think I'm responsible? Explain this. I... can't. What do you mean, you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need him, Cassandra. I don't understand. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Th things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She reached out to me, but then... Yeah. Go to the Ford camp, Liliana. I will take him to the rift. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. Massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. You still think I did this? <laughs> to myself. Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is, and you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. I understand. Then... I'll do what I can, whatever it takes. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves as she did, until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come, it is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley.
pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. It's over. Drop your weapon. Now! All right. Have it your way. Wait. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp, or fighting. We are on our own for now. advantage.
did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. You mean this? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself? Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Varric Tethrus. Rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag-along. Are you with the Chantry, or...? <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means, I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus is an apostate, well versed in such matters. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade, far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed, regardless of origin. And what will you do once this is over? One hopes those in power will remember who helped, and who did not. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Demons ahead! Glad you brought me now, Seeker! So, 
Are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. at the forward camp. We're almost there. Another rip! We must seal it! Quickly! They keep coming! Help us! Clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who he is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? Now you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Since we cannot agree on our own. I say we charge. I won't survive long enough for your trial. Whatever happens, happens now. Liliana. Bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker.
We must seal it if we are to get past! Quickly, then! Sealed, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. Do not congratulate me, Commander. This is the prisoners doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. You're not the only one hoping that. We'll see soon enough, won't we? The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Make her watch over you, for all our sakes. Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'm not sure how to even start getting up to that thing. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down. And be careful. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. You know this stuff is red lyrium, Seeker. I see it, Beric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on Lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <sighs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Keep the sacrifice still. Someone, help me! That is Divine Justinia's voice. What's going on here? Run where you can! Warn them! We have an intruder. Play the dwarf. You were there! 
Who attacked? And the Divine is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The Fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed. Albeit temporarily. I believe that with the Mark, the rift can be opened. And then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready!
didn't know you were awake. I swear. Why are you frightened? What happened? That's wrong, isn't it? I said the wrong thing. I don't think so. I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lord. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. And the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. That's him. He stopped the breach from getting any bigger. Chancellor Roderick says that the Chancellor wants nothing to do with us. Have you gone completely mad? He should be taken to Val Royo immediately, to be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe he is guilty. The dwarf failed, Seeker. The breach is still in the sky. For all you know, he intended it this way. I do not believe that. That is not for you to decide. Your duty is to serve the Chantry. My duty is to serve the principles on which the Chantry was founded, Chancellor, as is yours. Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that, and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. Let me guess. You need my help. You have done plenty. Your actions will be taken into account by the new Divine. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone Most Holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. You really think your Maker would send someone like me? The Maker does as he wills. It is not for me to say. Even if that means a dwarf is his chosen. Humans are not the only people with an interest in the fate of the world. The breach remains. And your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. Thank you. 
This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the Chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader. No numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now. With you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine, and then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. If you're truly trying to restore order... That is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. It has been a rough few days. <laughs> That's an understatement. And more ahead if the weather is any indication. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. Farewell. The Chosen of Andraste. A blessed hero sent to save us all. 
Am I riding in on a shining steed? I would have suggested a griffon. But sadly, they're extinct. Joke as you will, posturing is necessary. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the Fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodating. But you understand my caution. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Closing the breach is our primary goal. But I hope we might also discover what was used to create it. Any artifact of such power is dangerous. The destruction of the Conclave proves that much. You don't think whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the blast? You survived, did you not? The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. We would do well to try to recover whatever created the breach. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. In any case, did you need me for anything? What do you know about the Fade? A great deal, for my wanderings. There are a few hard facts, but I can share what I have learned. I'd like to know more about the Breach. Simply put, it is a tear in the veil between this world and the Fade, allowing spirits to enter the world physically. Small tears occur naturally when magic weakens the veil, or when spirits cluster at an area that has seen many deaths. But your mark allows you to exert some control over the Breach. That means it was created deliberately. I'd like to know more about the Veil. Circle mages call it a barrier between this world and the Fade. But according to my studies in ancient elven lore, that is a vast oversimplification. Without it, imagine if spirits entered freely. The Fade was not a place one went, but a state of nature like the wind. It sounds like it was wonderful. And dangerous. Yes. A world where imagination defines reality, where spirits are as common as trees or grass. Instead, spirits are strange and fearful, and the Fade is a terrifying world touched only by mages and dreamers. I am glad that I'm not alone in seeing the beauty of such a world, along with the obvious peril. I'd like to know more about demons. The Chantry says that demons hate the natural world and seek to bring their chaos and destruction to the living. But such simplistic labels misconstrue their motivations, and in so doing, do all a great disservice. Spirits wish to join the living. And a demon is that wish gone wrong. Is there a way to coexist? To live with them? If not in peace, at least without such active confrontation? Not in the world we know today. The Veil creates a barrier that makes true understanding most unlikely. But the question is a good one. And it matters that you thought to ask. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Are we going to have new verses in the Chant of Light now? The Herald of Long Trust. Okay. 
So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. None of this shit should have happened. You don't know the half of it. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe that any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running the first opportunity. I've written enough tries to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Need something? The red lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered red lyrium during an expedition in the Deep Roads. We located an ancient taig, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and, well, everything's gone downhill from there. What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid, and then it does creepy shit. Makes things float, brings statues to life. I've had a few alchemists studying it in Kirkwall, in shifts. Why do you have red lyrium? My brother kept a sliver when he sold it. I'm pretty sure he held on to it because it was already talking to him. That little shard drove him mad. I had him taken to a sanitarium and eventually found the fragment in his house. We brought the shit to the surface, Bartrand and I. I will find out if there was a way to shut it up. So far, it looks like the answer is no. If Red Lyrium is as dangerous as you say, why do you keep it? I've heard that shit singing to me. I know better than anyone how bad it is. In Orzum, our miners keep regular, non-crazy raw Lyrium in special lead-lined containers. Actually, it's a huge secret how they're constructed. Keeps surface folk from horning in on the Lyrium trade. I pulled a lot of strings and got a smith to build me four of them nested inside each other. Nobody gets to study it up close for more than an hour, and they have to wait a week between shifts. I think that's enough on Red Lyrian. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. Should look around.
got Lyria to sell. Commander Cullen is handling all purchases. Oh, you're him. Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. How does someone end up as Quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Eldon under Ten Logain McTeer. Best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. King Alistair offered my services to the Inquisition, probably to get rid of me. Your loyalty to the man you served is admirable, Quartermaster. Thank you. A lot of people seem to think they know what happened at Ostagar, but I was there. Turn Logain never betrayed his king. If he brought the reinforcements, Darkspawn would have just killed everyone. He did what he had to do to save our country, and we betrayed him. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. Farewell. Make a go with you. Much appreciated.